So today we're gonna be doing another art challenge and uh, by we I mean Kamarada and that guy You may have seen them on the quiz videos or the Guilty Gear stuff But basically I'm gonna be drawing the character and then Kamarada is gonna do the coloring and that guy is going to finish with the background So for the pose uh, I uh, didn't really have anything prepared so I just had to come up with something on the spot uh, We didn't really discuss what we were going to do beforehand so the character was also completely my decision I decided to draw Rin from Fate Stay Night and I put her in a Chinese dress too because I figured uh, I need something that we can use as clickbait in the thumbnail and uh, I didn't want to get demonetized either so you know I, I just went with that. Overall it's a pretty standard drawing. I decided to keep the horizon line in the center of the page instead of doing some weird three point perspective shenanigans because uh, I figured that guy probably wouldn't be able to draw a background around it. I think that's about everything I've got to say, so uh, we're going to move on to the next section and Camarada's gonna be taking over. Alright, I just got the drawing from Excal and... Oh, of course it's a Fate character. I haven't watched Fate! So, for the coloring, I start by segmenting the drawing into different pieces. This allows me to change the color on them easily as well as selecting parts quickly. I'm using very garish colors because it helps me see if I've missed some spots or assigned them to the wrong segment. Now that that's done, I change everything back to a neutral grey. Usually I'd go straight for a base color, but since I'm not in charge of the background, locking in the values first seemed like a safer bet. I also rough in the background so I can check the lighting on the character against the values I'm expecting for the background. I was debating on what type of lighting would work best here. I test that edge lighting first and then a top light. The pose is very static, so I wanted to make sure that your eyes were drawn up to the face using lighting. In order to do that, I ended up choosing to use spotlighting. The plan is to use the contrast in value and light shapes to dry your eyes up to the focal point. With the values locked in, I change the gray to a color and put the layer on multiply and you instantly get a base for the lighting. Her lighter skin tone would cause too much contrast between the dress and her legs and I didn't want to create another focal point, so I swapped it out for something darker. The dress also looked too empty, so I made a quick design on it and after that it's pretty much just refining the lighting. Now normally I really like rendering out detailed eyes and hair, but looking at the reference I wanted to keep that more simplistic style fade. You can however see it start to peek through here where I ignored the line art because I like the more flowy form it gave me. And yeah, that's me done. It's looking really promising, so let's move over to that guy for the background. We started by making a little sketch, indicating what, what we want. Uh, as you can see, I didn't go for the umbrella because perspective is hard and I didn't want to think about it too much. Uh, it's more like blocking in things that I want and the things I don't want. The horizon line, very important. Um, apparently Excal made a horizon line in the sketch. Uh, I didn't saw that, so I made my own. And I think we're about hip height. Uh, as you can see, I gave up on the sea. The sea was way too hard. So I decided to fix on the more fun things in life and draw the trees. And unfortunately, I didn't have fun with the trees because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh gosh, I, I spent so much time on just drawing trees. I tried to make it darker because the painting was quite... I don't know. I don't know what I was doing here. I thought it was way too vibrant, but also the I liked it, how vibrant it looked. So I decided to keep it. Oh, if you, if you ever want to learn how to do backgrounds, don't ask me. But Studio Gibble has amazing tutorials uh, how they paint their scenery and they were pretty informative. So I would 10 out of 10 uh, recommend. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the final piece. Uh, do you, do you guys want to say some words? Uh, what, what you think you think it's about? What you hope? What are your hopes and dreams for this beautiful piece of art? I have zero faith that this turned out correctly. As the second person in this process, I also have no faith that it ended up sticking it out till the end. What the fuck, man? I I think it looks decent. Uh, <laughs> Look, we all know who we gave the last part to, and. You're not going to be able to fix any glaring mistakes that we made in the previous versions. Well, I, I, if I was honest, I think the character was boring. Oh no. And <laughs> I'm gonna throw directly shit at the skull. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, and of course it had to be Rin, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Uh -huh. oh, oh, nice, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Stop teasing. Oh. Go on, show me. <laughs> nice. Stop Loading. teasing. Oh. Oh, Whoa! Oh. oh, that lighting does not fix anything. <laughs> I thought we were going for a darker scene than this. That's uh, not as bad as I thought. No? Uh, no. Oh fuck! Surprisingly, <laughs> no. You put. I can tell you put some effort into making the background. Yeah, and. Uh, However, it feels like you didn't look at the lighting on the character before you made it. 
if I'm honest, right? And yeah. I already sketched the background way before you did the coloring. Uh, mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do anything else for the background and lighting. So I thought, I, I can work, make it work. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you made it work. <laughs> Uh, Can I ask why you started the background before seeing what the character even was? It, it's uh, fuck. Wait, so did you even, like, did you do a grayscale version of it where you, you could easily do the lighting afterwards or did you just do it with color straight away? Uh, if I'm honest, I don't remember. I might have to look back at the recording. But I, I just started with fake shapes and then colored it in. Nice. So this is going to be the next FGO character? I hope so. Yeah. The, the, the summer festival rin. <laughs> yeah. well, I, can I promise... love that the clothing she's wearing it also does not fit a beach type scenario. Yo, this could be on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking high heels on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Dress to impress. I can I can show you let you, uh, show you the guys the sketch. What the sketch that Exco made? This was the original sketch. Ah, uh, so you moved the trees. Yeah, yeah. It was, also, it wait, was... why is that the size of the umbrella? Uh, it's perspective. <laughs> How small would the character be? Because beach umbrellas are usually taller than people. Uh, that would that would be gosh and blurred into the background, but it ma didn't make the final cut. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to see a part two to this uh, <laughs> ever, be sure to like the video. Did you oh, know yeah, that if you like the video now, it actually, or uh, if you say like the video in the video, it lights up the like button. Does it really? actually? Yeah, it's oh, actually crazy. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! I think it does the same thing for the subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, Alexa, subscribe. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see another video, 150 likes.